Hey guys, welcome back to Geese Reads and Food for Thought. Make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hey guys, on the last week of July, which was the month for historical fiction, here on Oahu something historical happened. The hurricane, Hurricane Douglas, became the hurricane that has come the closest to my, the island that I live on, Oahu, without even hitting the island in history. So that was amazing because right outside of where I live, I could see the rain building up and pouring down into the ocean. But amazingly, it didn't even come and hit us at all. The ocean was storming and you could see the waves breaking extremely hard. It's mostly very calm and not really any waves at all, but you could see them pounding on the day of that storm. And the funny thing was, was that during the storm, it was actually just very hot and muggy and we didn't get any rain, but for the next three or four days, we got more rain than we had ever gotten during the storm, which was, I think, pretty funny, but it kind of makes me... Th but it kind of makes sense because of like the aftermath of the storm itself. And because of that, I haven't been able to do any of my videos yet, whether or not it's some of my shorts or even this virtual book club, but I'm excited to be able to come back and start doing these videos again. And I know you guys are itching to see what this month's book genre is, which is one of my favorite things to read about, which is Greek mythology. So Greek mythology is super cool because you get to learn so many tales about different gods and heroes and all the other sorts of myths and stories in Greek mythology and it kind of lets you know and kind of figure out how the ancient Greeks thought and how they were able to incorporate the thought of the Olympians and all the other gods into their lifestyle. So throughout the month, I'll be reading different tales about heroes and myths from Greek mythology such as the Twelve Labors of Heracles, the Adventure of Perseus, and the Trojan War. I'm hoping to be able to make a podcast and read them on there, but for now, I will be posting them as a video here on my YouTube channel, Geese Productions, so keep an eye out for them because they're coming very soon. I'm also going to do a special video on the history of Greek mythology as in on how the Greeks thought how the world started and how like all the Olympians became Olympians and overthrew Kronos the big titan lord and so forth so I'm ho so keep an eye out for that as well because I'm really excited to be able to share the history of Greek mythology to you guys so before I leave make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and go check out any of my other videos and make sure to give them a big thumbs up that will be extremely helpful so please go do that and if you want to start reading different Greek myths and learn about the tales and deeds of heroes in Greek mythology, there's a link in the description below so you can start learning about the different amazing adventures that happens. So I know during July, I was telling everyone to get, let me know what their favorite books are so I could share them here on Geese Reads and Food for Thought, a virtual book club. And I actually got a request to do the Magic Treehouse series by Mary Pope Osborne, which is one of my favorite series to read when I was four years old. And now it's my brother's favorite for me and my mom and dad to read to him. So I'm looking forward to maybe be doing a read out loud with my brother, Mikey, who has his own YouTube channel, Mikey TV, where I did a dunk contest with him. So make sure to go look at his channel and subscribe to it because he has some pretty cool stuff on there. And if you guys know any Greek myths, let me know what your favorite one is on my Facebook group page at Geese Reads and Food for Thought or my Facebook and Instagram at Baltimore College. The links to these will be in the description below. Greek mythology is one of my favorite things to read about, so I hope you'll be able to share my enthusiasm on this topic for this month on Greek mythology. And as always, keep on reading. I'll see you guys next time.